Hi there. Now in this video what I want to do is introduce you to logarithms or some people call them logs for short. Okay and what I'll be doing is we'll look at this definition in a moment and I'll also show you how you can work these things out on a calculator and I'll also be giving you a short exercise that you can do just to revise or recap what we've been talking about. So when we get the logarithm or log of a number, let's say n, we talk about the logarithm of a number in a particular base, base a say, and we say it's equal to x. And this is because that base a to the power x gives us the number n. Sounds maybe a bit confusing. Let's see if we can do an example just to make it a bit easier. Let's suppose we talk about the log of 9 in base 3. What is the log of 9 in base 3? Well what we're looking for is the base which in this example is 3 raised to some power okay we'll put the question mark there gives us the number 9. So what's that value going to be? What do you have to raise 3 to to get 9? Well, it's got to be 2. Okay, so 3 squared, 3 to the power 2 is 9. So the log of 9 in base 3 is 2. And that's because 3 to the power 2 gives us the 9. Now I say this is log 9 in base 3. You can say log in base 3 of 9. It's up to you. Okay, let's try another one. Okay, let's go for the log of 32 in base 2. What's it going to be? Do you know? Well, remember, we're looking at the base, which is 2. So it's going to be 2 to the power something equals 32. So what is it? Well, hopefully you spotted that it's 5, okay? 2 to the power 5 gives us the 32. So the log of 32 in base 2 is 5, since 2 to the power 5 then gives us 32. Now if you're unsure of what the log of a number is in a particular base, you can always use a calculator. So I'll show you how you work with this. Up here is the log button. So if I wanted to work out the log of 32 in base 2 by pressing this and then you can see here we've got the base. So if I enter the base 2, move the cursor into the bracket there and enter 32 and by pressing equals we get 5. Okay? so. That's the way that we can work it out on a calculator. Now I shouldn't really need a calculator though for these basic ones here. I'd need a calculator though if I was working something like this out. The log of say 20 in base 5. This is not obvious. 5 to the power 1 gives us 5, not 20. 5 to the power 2, 5 squared, gives us 25. That's too much, not 20. So the log of 20 in base 5 is going to be a number somewhere between 1 and 2. And we can use the calculator to work it out. So if we just clear the last one, and we enter the log in base 5, and we just move into the bracket there of 20, we see, yes, it is a number between 1 and 2. It turns out to be 1.861 1 and so on. And if I round this to, say, one decimal place, this will be 1.9. So what I'm saying there, then is that 5 to the power 1.9 is approximately then 20. OK? Now another button you'll see on the calculator is just log on its own. So 
That begs the question, what do we mean by log? OK, so what does log mean? Now the answer to this is that log on its own just means logs to base 10. OK, so I'll show you with an example in a moment. Log to base 10. So if I had something like this, the log of 100, we think of this as the log of 100 in base 10, even though we haven't written base 10. So what is the log of 100 in base 10? Well, it's 2. Why? Because we should know by now that the base, which we said is 10, 10 to the power 2 gives us 100. So what would the log say of 1000 be? OK, hopefully you've guessed it. It's 3, and that's because the base 10 raised to the power 3 is going to be 1,000. And if you didn't know these results, very easy, just do them on the calculator. So if we clear the screen and press log, the log, say, of 1,000, just put that in, 1,000, close the bracket off there, equals, and you can see we get 3. Now I did say earlier that I'd like to just give you a short exercise and here it is. See if you can work all of these out without using your calculator except for the last one here. You're going to need to use your calculator then. You can always check your answers though on the calculator just as an exercise. But I'll give you a moment just to pause the video, have a go. When you come back I'll take you slowly through the work solutions. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. So the first one, the log of 8 in base 2. Well, again, what have we got to raise the base to? 2 to the power something gives us 8. Well, you should have seen that it's 3. And that is because 2 cubed, or 2 to the power 3, is 8. Now, the next one, a bit harder, the log of... 3 in base 9 might seem impossible. What do you raise the base to? 9 to the power something gives us 3. Well, in fact, for something like this, you should have spotted that the square root of 9 is 3. And the index or power that we raise 9 to when it comes to the square rooting is a half. So the log of 3 in base 9 is a half. And well done if you're able to get that without the calculator. Here's another tricky one. The log of 1 ninth then in base 3. What's that? What do we have to raise the base to? 3 to the power something gives us 1 ninth. Well, it's to the power minus 2. Hope you got that one. Well done if you did. 3 to the minus 2, remember, is 1 over 3 squared. 1 over 3 squared is the same as 1 ninth. Now when it comes to the log of 10, in base 10, remember, if you just write log, by default it is to the base 10. So what's the log of 10 in base 10? What do you have to raise the base to? in order to get 10. Well, it's clearly 1. So the log of 10 in base 10 is 1. Next one. What's the log of 1 in base 5? What do we have to raise the base to? 5 in order to get 1. Well, for this one, it's the power 0. Anything to the power 0 is 1. So the log of 1 in any base is always going to be 0. Now for this last one, the log of 12 in base 3, you're going to need to use the calculator for this. Then, pressing this button here, the log in base 3 
of 12 equal to 2.261 and so on. 2.261 and so on. So in other words, to one decimal place, this is going to be 2.3 to 1 dp. So we're saying then that the base 3 to the power 2.3 is going to give us approximately then 12. Okay? Now in the next video in this series, what I want to do is show you some more rules that we use when it comes to working with logarithms. Okay, well thanks for listening and that brings us now to the end of this video.